Now my guest is Leanne Smiley from Home Health. She is the manager of Home Health. I just found out that she was, she is Stephanie Santiago's supervisor. So you were well aware of what Stephanie did to earn that prestigious award. Good morning, Leanne. It's nice to have you with me this morning. Good morning, Bob. It's a pleasure to be here. And Stephanie is definitely our shining star, and we're all very proud of her achievements. Those are beautiful words. Mm -hmm. uh, home health. What can you tell us is new? What, what updates do you have for us? Okay. I'm the clinical manager for certified home health. So that mm -hmm. is the home health that either Medicare or insurance pays for. And we have a team of nurse, registered nurses, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, and home health aides, wow. ready to assist residents as they um, need assistance coming out of the hospital or coming home from Garden Ridge, or even just a referral from a physician who says someone needs um, some therapy in the home. We have just added another speech therapist to our team. Um, his name is James Brinton and you will see James around the community. Let's, let's have her name again. James Brinton. James? Brinton. Oh, this is a male. It is a male. Uh-huh. Yes. And so um, it's, he's a welcome addition to our team. And we've also, um, we will be sharing with hospice, one of their nurses, John Smith, and he will be doing some of our home health visits. So when John comes, it's not necessarily a hospice visit. Mm -hmm. He could be coming for home health. Are these gentlemen male nurses? Uh, John is a male nurse. Uh -huh. James is um, a speech therapist. Speech therapist. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Medicare. You know, that's a kind of an intricate program. And, and I have to admire all of you down there because you understand every little nook and cranny, if you will, of Medicare rules or regulations how much would what will medicare cover vis-a-vis -vis someone visiting me in from home health mm -hmm. in my apartment medicare is a complex system as we all know um, for home health to be covered it must meet medical necessity criteria so everything we do is under the care of a doctor. The doctor signs off on our plans of care. He guides the care that we provide. Uh, it also um, requires that a resident be homebound. And what that means is that the resident can't um, get around easily. Um, you know, doing things like going to the doctors is okay, mm -hmm. but shouldn't be someone who's able to get in and out of the apartment fairly easily. It does require a taxing effort and we have to certify with each visit that the patient or the resident is homebound. So mm -hmm. to meet the um, requirements for Medicare to continue to pay, um, it really is a requirement that the doctor feels that there's a medical reason why and that the resident can't get to any other services. And when we discharge, we often discharge to other services such as outpatient therapy or home support if someone needs that additional ongoing care in the home. So we don't actually have them as part of our service, but they're our referral source when we discharge so that there's a plan mm -hmm. going forward. As a manager, is your day filled with Medicare paperwork? Plenty of Medicare paperwork. Um, the paperwork seems to be getting more onerous as the really? years go on. Is that right? Um, because there's changes in the way Medicare pays. It now pays on quality of care, not just on what we do. So we actually have to prove that we provide good quality care and all that data is publicly reported. So anyone can go online and look at Green Spring Village Home Health and find um, that data um, online through CMS and through the quality websites of the state so that we actually are reporting um, to the state of Virginia. So, mm -hmm. Quality of care, just what does that mean? It's a lot of things. Yeah. It can be that the care is initiated timely. It can be that our therapists are providing what 
the patient sees as good quality. Mm -hmm. It means that we're scheduling appropriately and providing the number of visits and that our staff are turning up on time and making appointments. Mm -hmm. It means um, that there's improvement from the start. So we actually have to collect a whole data set, which is lots and lots of questions when we first start someone on home health. And we do many of those same questions at discharge. And what we're trying to show is that there was improvement by having our therapists and our nurses come. And that's what we report as our quality data. And then that gets put into some very intricate formulas by Medicare and, and comes back out as data that we use for our quality improvement um, as we move forward. Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot of resident feedback that comes with that. So at the end of every episode, there's an opportunity for our residents to provide us with feedback about what the service was like for them, what they found good, what they may have felt was challenging or they needed some additional assistance on. Um, and we're in the process of changing that from a written survey that the resident gets a month or so after the care finishes to a telephonic survey. So the resident will get a phone call from our contracted vendor, Arba, mm -hmm. to ask some questions about how they felt about their care. I get the feeling that the resident comments means a lot to you and your staff. Absolutely. Without the resident feedback, we can't um, fix any problems we have mm -hmm. and we also can't improve because, you know, it's great to be good at what you do, but there's always opportunity to get better at what you do. Do you, uh, say, hold a weekly or a monthly meeting of your st mm -hmm. staff and, and chat and discuss resident comments and, hey, let's do this, so so-and-so said so that. Do you do something like that? We do. We meet with our entire team once a week. Once a um, week. On a Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And we spread that out between education of our staff about how we can improve our mm -hmm. outcomes. Mm -hmm. um, but several times a month, we actually talk about the residents that we actually have on service and making sure that every member of our team is aware of what other members of the team uh -huh. are doing so that we can coordinate the well, care. That's great. That um, good. And then formulate some ideas and some follow up that needs to happen if someone's running into a challenging um, situation. And so at that point, um, our social work lead, Kathleen Taylor, also joins us at that meeting and she will go back to our social work team so that we're working as a community, not just as a home health agency on its own. Leanne, where is your office for the benefit of the people? You know, mm -hmm. we do have new residents. We do. And they're maybe watching this program for the first time and they're saying, hey, they're talking home health. Where is this home health? Okay. Our actual office is in Village Square. It's on the T level. Um, so going down towards the intermissions area mm -hmm. um, where the hospice and home support and the home health office are all there in one area. Yeah, home health, home health is here and hospice is right across the hallway. That's isn't? correct. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're bailiwick, if I can use the word loosely, is here and here. Mm -hmm. You have hospice under you also? No, I do no. not have hospice. Okay. That's um, the manager there is Kathleen. But you work closely with hospice. Very, very closely. And when we have a patient that needs to discharge to hospice, we're definitely having conversation with that team as well um, to make sure that the transition happens as smoothly as it mm. can. Likewise, if someone graduates from hospice and is getting better because of the care that they receive under hospice, uh -huh. they may come back to home health for ongoing care. Um, so we have a couple of people on service at the moment that are graduates of the hospice program. I do have a final question, uh, getting back to Medicare. Do you receive an unannounced visit from the Medicare people and they saying, Miss Smiley, I'd like to look at your records or whatever? Absolutely. Being a certified home health agency, the certified piece means that we are surveyed by Medicare every three years. Now that can be a little longer than three years, it can be a little shorter than three years and we are expecting a survey within the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. And at that time um, the surveyors turn up at our door unannounced. Um, uh -huh. They request to look at our patient records um, and again they do it very much with um, 
confidentiality and privacy when they mm -hmm. do that. They'll also look at our staff records and how we train our staff. And they look at every aspect of our agency operations to make sure that we're um, continuing to provide service in the way that we should be um, providing service to That's patients great. that we serve. Wonderful. Before we end, is there any other final comments that you'd like to make? Uh, any other updates that maybe we have missed? I'd just like to invite anyone who has any questions to give our office a call. We can be contacted through any of the main desks here, um, mm -hmm. through Resident Life, and our actual phone number um, directly to our office is 703-923-3162. 923-3162. So if you want to talk to Leanne, call 923-3162. Leanne, it's been a pleasure it's been wonderful having you talking. here with us this morning.